Hello learners, I am Priyanka Patel and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to explain about quality control of rubber as a packaging material. If you want to learn about composition of rubber and its property, you can go through my previous video. What is learning objective of this video? After going through this video, learners will be able to understand quality control test required to check the integrity of rubber according to India Pharmacopoeia and United States Pharmacopoeia. Next is quality control of closure according to IP 2018. So first one is preparation of sample solution A. So what is sample solution? So sample solution is nothing but the extraction of closure into water when it is subjected to autoclave. So when they are subjected to high temperature and pressure condition, it may lead to leaching of the constituent of the closure into water and it will serve as a sample for the further test. For preparation of sample, we have to clean the closure with 0.2% anionic surface activation for 5 minutes and then we have to clean it 5 times with the distilled water and we have to add 200 ml of distilled water per 100 cm square surface area of closure and then it is subjected to autoclave for 119 to 123 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes by covering it with the water form. Then we have to cool and separate the solution from closure. Blank will be 200 ml of water for injection. First test is appearance of solution. Solution A is not more opulent and opalescence than standard and not more intensely colored than reference standard solution. So this reference standard solution is given into Indian pharmacopoeia. We have to prepare the solution and we have to compare the solution with test solution. Next is acidity and alkalinity. So for acidity and alkalinity, in 20 ml of solution, we have to add bromothymol blue as indicator and then according to the color of bromothymol blue, we have to titrate it with either NaOH or HCl and we have to check for the color change and limit for NaOH is 0.3 ml and limit for HCl is 0.8 ml. Next is light absorption. For light absorption, we have to carry out it within 4 hours of the preparation of solution. We need to filter it. Then we have to perform the scanning of solution using blank into 220 to 360 nanometer and absorbance should not be greater than 2. If required, dilution is to be performed and dilution factor is to be added after the calculation. Next is residue on evaporation. For residue on evaporation, we have to take 50 ml of solution and we have to dry it on water bath at 105 degrees Celsius and weight of the residue should not be more than 4 mg. Sterilization test. After sterilization, closure should not become sticky and soft and there should not be visual change in closure. Next is reducing substance. In 20 ml of solution, we have to add 1 ml of sulfuric acid, 20 ml of 0.02 molar potassium permanganate solution and we have to boil it for 3 minutes. Then we have to add 1 gram of potassium iodide. That we have to titrate against sodium thiosulfate solution using starch as indicator. Blank is to be done and difference between titration volume should not be more than 7 ml. Next is functionality test. So in functionality test, we generally indicate its functional ability. So first test is fragmentation test. So for fragmentation test, purpose of fragmentation test is to check the fragmentation of rubber or you can say coring of the rubber. So when we pierce the needle, if fragment appear with it or not, that we are going to check in fragmentation test. For fragmentation test, we have to take 12 clean vials. For closures which are intended to be pierced by hypodermic needles and for request preparation. And we have to fill it with the water corresponding to its nominal volume minus 4. If vial nominal volume is 10 ml, then we have to fill 6 ml of water. Then we have to close the vial with the closers and allow it to stand for 16 hours using a hypodermic needle with an external diameter of 0.8 ml. We have to inject 1 ml of water into vial and we have to remove 1 ml of air. For closers for dry preparations, we have to close 10 vials with the prepared closer. We don't have to fill any kind of water into it. Using hypodermic needle, with an external diameter of 0.8 ml, we have to inject 1 ml of water 
into a while and we have to remove one ml of end and we have to carry out this procedure four times with the new needle each time we have to inject with needle each time at the different site and we have to check for the fragments we have to pass the liquid into the vial through the filter with pore size of 0.5 micrometer number of fragment should not be more than 10 except in case of butyl rubber closure where total number of fragments should not be more than 15 next is self sealability why self sealability is important because self sealability is required to prevent contamination of preparation with the atmosphere after removing one dose rest of the dose should not get, get contaminated with the atmosphere and it should produces a tight seal so for that self sealability is required this test is applicable for closures intended to be used with multiple dose container. We have to fill 10 suitable soil with the water to its nominal volume and we have to close the vial with prepared closure. Then for each closure, we have to use hypodermic needle with external diameter of 0.8 mm and pierce the closure 10 times each time at a different site. Now we have to immerse the vial into 0.1% weight by volume solution of methylene blue and reduce the external pressure to 27 kilopascal for 20 minutes. Then we have to restore the atmospheric pressure and leave the vials immersed in 30 minutes and rinse outside the vial. None of the vials should contain trace of colored solution. Biological test is also performed with physicochemical test and functionality test for the closure. And biological test is same as that of the biological test for the plastic. So you can refer to my previous video. Next is quality control of closures according to USP. This table indicates type of test to be performed for different types of closure. For example, closure with or without silicon coating, that is siliconization, closure with lubrications coating, or closure with barrier coating, and different types of physicochemical functionality or biological test, which is to be performed for different type of closure. One more thing is that. USP has classified closure into two types, type 1 closure and type 2 closure. So type 1 closures are those which are meant for the aqueous preparation and type 2 closures are those which are meant for the non-aqueous preparation. So biological test. So biological test for the closure is same as that of the biological test for the plastic according to the USP. So for the same you can refer my previous video for plastic material. For physical chemical test we need to prepare the solution. Preparation or solution, we have to take uncut closures with a surface area of 100 plus or minus 10 cm square. And each 100 cm square surface area, we have to take 200 ml of water for injection or plain water. That means 2 ml for each 1 cm square surface area. We need to boil it for 5 minutes and we have to rinse it 5 times with, the, with water for injection. Then, it is subjected to autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius temperature. Take around 20 to 30 minutes to attain the temperature and we have to maintain the same temperature for 30 minutes. That will be served as the sample solution. Blend is prepared by subjecting the water or water for injection at the same temperature and pressure condition. First one is determination of turbidity. For turbidity determination, first we have to prepare hydrogen sulfate solution and hexamethylene tetramine solution and by combining these two solution different composition we have to prepare opalescent stock suspension from opalescent stock solution we have to prepare opalescent standard suspension by diluting stock suspension with the water in different composition so we have to prepare four different suspension by diluting stock suspension by water that is a b c and d for example, if we consider reference suspension A, we have to take 5 ml of standard of opalescence and we have to dilute it 95 ml with the water and we have to measure its turbidity in nephelometer and it should be 3 nephelometric turbidity unit. For determination of turbidity for closer solution, we have two methods. First one is visual comparison and another one is instrumental comparison. So in visual comparison, we have to use identical test tubes which are made up of colorless transparent and neutral glass with a flat bottom and internal diameter of 15 to 25 mm. We have to fill one tube 
to the depth of 40 mm with solution S, which is we have prepared already, one tube to the same depth with water and rest of the four tubes with reference suspension. And we have to compare this solution in daylight against the black background. Passing of the test requirement is for type 1 closure. According to visual procedure, it should not more opalescence than suspension B. That means to BTT should be less than suspension B. And for type 2 closure, no more opalescence than suspension C. Same as for instrumental comparison, we have to measure the turbidity with blank, which is water, and then we have to collect the result for reference suspension A, B, C, D, and we have to re represent it 3, 6, 18, and 30, and D, U, respectively. So, for suspension, it should not be more than 6 and TU, and for type 2 closure, suspension, it should not be more than 18 and TU. Next is acidity and alkalinity. Procedure for acidity and alkalinity is same as that of the IP. We have to take 20 ml of solution as we have to add bromothymol blue. And if solution is yellow, we need to titrate it with NaOH and endpoint should be blue. If solution is blue, we have to titrate it with HCl and endpoint will be yellow. And limitation is 0.3 ml for NaOH and 0.8 ml for HCl. Absorbance. For absorbance, we have to filter the solution as and we have to scan it between 220 to 360 nanometer using blank. And absorbance should not be more than 2 for type 1 closure and not more than 4 for type 2 closure. Reducing substance procedure is same as that of the IP. We have to take 20 ml of solution. We have to add sulfuric acid, potassium permanganate solution. We have to boil it for 3 minutes and we have to add 1 gram of potassium iodide and that we have to titrate it against 0.01 molar sodium thiosulfate solution using starch head indicator. Difference between blank and back should not be more than 3 ml for type 1 closure and not more than 7 ml for type 2 closure. For heavy metal solution should not contain more than 2 ppm of heavy metals as lead. Next is functionality test. In functionality test, first one is penetrability. So, penetrability stands with the penetration force which is required to pierce the needle through the closing. So, for that we have to take 10 vials and we have to fill it with water up to its nominal volume. And we have to fit it with a closer and we have to secure it with the cap. And using new hypodermic needle, we have to pierce the closer with needle perpendicular to the surface. The force required for the piercing is not greater than 10 newton for each closure with accuracy of plus or minus 0.25 newton. Fragmentation test. It is same as that described in IP and limitation is only different. So limitation is no more than 5 visible fragments should be there with a diameter greater than 50 micrometer. And self-sealability test is same as that of IP. These are the references and with this I conclude my video. Thank you everyone for watching my video. If any query, you can contact me on given email ID.